I love to quilt and I wanted to share with you today an interactive play quilt that I made for our granddaughter Kelsey. This is a quilt that, well you get, guess you could say that I designed it, um, but what I did I kind of googled images and got them off my print master and then just kind of recreated them um, in applique. So every block is supposed to have something that you can kind of do and so we'll give it a start here. Um, right up here at the top left corner. This is one of my favorite blocks. This is one, the monkey climbing up the palm tree. So what you can do is slide this little guy up and down, which I think is really fun. And the second block is a capybara, which is a rodent, a very large rodent that lives in Ecuador. And um, you can see that it's a very furry fabric. So this is a texture block. And um, what I did was I went to the Goodwill store and bought a teddy bear for 99 cents and cut it up and uh, used this fur. He's got a button for an eye and a couple of buttons for his nose. And he's got a little bell that you can ring in this little satin thing. So that's a texture thing, kind of soft and furry. So that's a capybara. Moving right along, we have the snail block. The snail block has got a little pocket in it, which you can reach your hand in. And inside the pocket, there's a concave button that Kelsey can put her little finger in. So that's kind of fun. Of course, I sewed it on with very heavy button and carpet thread, so there's no choking hazard. He's got really cute little um, couching stitch uh, antenna, and uh, I had a lot of fun. Everything is hand appliqued and hand embroidered. I pieced everything like this with my machine. This is an image I got off of Birdorable, a website that I found that has really cute birds, and um, they gave me permission to recreate that. And this little scarlet macaw has a crinkly tail. In order to get the crinkle, what I did was I just took normal cellophane, like gift wrap cellophane, and put it inside the things that I wanted to crinkle. This is probably the friendliest looking little piranha that you could ever see. Um, all you can do with this block is kind of play with the fins and the, uh, and this crinkles as well. He's got a nice big smile saying, hi, Kelsey. And this block here is a rainforest tapir. And tapirs, when they're grown up, they're black and white. But when they're young, they're kind of like fawn spotted. And so I chose to make a baby tapir. And all you can do with him is pretty much play with his little leg, which flips up. Moving right along, this is the turtle block. This is one of my favorites. Um, um, the spots on the turtle are all hand embroidered on corduroy. So this is a texture block. It's got a little bit of corduroy texture to it. And with the turtle, you can See, here's, here's his little tail. There's a bead for his eye. And what you can do here is um, unsnap his little legs and snap them. So that's kind of the fun feature on this block. And moving right along, this is the frog block. Now, Kelsey's daddy really likes frogs. And so we had to make a big bug-eyed frog. And these are little puffball eyes right here. And so he's got embroidered little legs. So that's my frog block. And this is the mushroom block. Terry said she wanted her quilt to have a giant ant on there. So if you open up the door in the mushroom, you'll see the giant ant. He's saying, hello, waving at you. I don't know if you can see the smiley face on him. Now you see there's a ladybug on the, on the um, mushroom. What happened was I accidentally slashed the mushroom when I was doing some work on the backside and uh, had to fix it. So. Rather than redo the mushroom, I just decided to embroider a little ladybug to take care of the problem. And this one here, if you can zoom in, you'll see that um, the there's a lot of beadwork on this. It's all embroidered by hand and beadwork. And I just basically took different colors of uh, two different kinds of embroidery floss that I had and filled in this uh, image of the gecko or the lizard and put little beads in all of his feet. He's got beady eyes and a beady nose and Again, that's a really fun texture block. This is the jaguar rundi. The jaguar rundi is another rainforest creature. It's like a small, um, actually it's a large cat, but like small for a jaguar. And in this one, you've got a little rattly bell in his tail and a little leg that moves. That's pretty much it for the jaguar rundi. Um, we went down to see Kelsey when she was born and I had a lot of time on the plane. So I just decided to embroider the butterfly image. And so, um, this is for Kelsey to learn her colors, pink, purple, green, and all that kind of stuff. So that is a lot of hand embroidery, but I had a lot of time on the plane, and I really do like working with my hands, so it wasn't a pain. And um, this is the hummingbird. Now, the way we say hummingbird in Spanish is colibri, and if you go on my website and click on listen to songs, you can hear a song, colibri, 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 buzzing all around my head like a bee. 
and he's got crinkly wings as well. So the really neat thing about this quilt is that I pretty much had all the fabric. A lot of people give me fabric and then I find little pieces at um, thrift stores. And so this was a very economical quilt to make. I really didn't buy anything. Somebody even gave me the batting, so that's pretty cool. This one here is a snake that I found on my Printmaster program. And I took the shape of the snake and recreated it and appliqued it. And I went and found a whole bunch of little trims and ribbons and things of little pieces of scrap fabric and decorated rickrack embroidery. And that was a really fun and creative way to do this snake. I had a blast with it. And then his little feature is that he's got a, um, a leather forked tongue. Non-venomous, of course. All right, this one here is the first block that I made for this quilt, and it's made out of flannel. This is a, a material that I made a dress for my granddaughter, Gracie. It's the monkey block, and all you can do is play with his curly tail. And then he's got a vine with little strings on it, which is kind of cool. So that's the monkey block. Here's the dragonfly. You can learn to count to four. Four wings. One, two, three, four. So all he does is flap his little wings. And then down here we have the toucan. And he's got Velcro. You kind of flip up his bib like that. And he's kind of fun. This is one of my favorites. I just like the way the colors came out on that one. And this block here, when I was laying out the quilt, I thought I had all the blocks I needed, and I was one short. So I said, what can I do really quick for a block? So I thought, let me make a banana face. So I've got two big bug eyes. These are the eyes that I rejected from the frog. First I made two eyes that were too big. Then I made them they're too small. So that's how that came out quick. And then the banana, you can play Velcro with it and just kind of play with that. The next one is a block. I pretty much got the idea but online, but I pretty much designed this myself. This is the waterfall block. As you can see, there's a rainbow up here and a little golden fish jumping over the waterfall. And if you move aside the water, which are long little strips of bias, you see Kelsey and Isaac playing under the waterfall. There's big brother Isaac and little sister Kelsey, and there's embroidered little plants and vines and things that are growing on the side as well. So that's one of my favorite blocks. And last but not least, we have the Amazon Pink River Dolphin. I didn't even know there was such a creature until Terry told me about it, but there actually are pink dolphins that swim in the Amazon River. And this one, I started out by making a flat little one to embroider or to um, applique on, and I said, nah, I need to go 3D here. So I ended up making a, a real chubby little uh, dolphin that's got Velcro on his snout, so basically you can put him in and out of the hoop and Velcro him down. So that is the Pink River Dolphin. So that's um, Kelsey's quilt, and I've enjoyed sharing it with you today. If you'd like to see more of my quilts, you can find them at MrsKate.com, as well as a really neat song called I'm Just an Old So-and-So. So this is Mrs. Kate. Thanks for taking the tour of Kelsey's Play Quilt. Bye-bye.